Welcome back. We got a full bar of energy. And we have our two quests for right now. You find a couple, another piece of bread and two pieces of salami, and then 100% this area. So, let's get right back into uh, whacking these bushes. And there we go. We found one of our first customizable items. Let's slot that on. Gotta start from somewhere again after we lose everything. Okay. If only the, uh... The bushes would spawn just a tad bit faster. It'd be so much nicer. Gotta wait to find a, uh... Why am I not running? I should be running. That was weird. Uh, we'll use one. And that was not enough. But we gotta level up. Oh, wooden coffee table. Can't use that right now because we do not have our home, but we can turn our quest in at Steve over here. Give him a nice uh, sandwich. At your sandwich parts. A little goal, a little experience. Thanks, I feel much better. Say, if you want to learn how to fish, you can talk to me again. Over here by the lake. Will do. I enjoy fishing. Fishing is a nice thing. You had a chance to do any fishing around here yet? It's a little bit different from back in the old world, but still worth trying. Teach me how. I got ten simple baits. And Steve's sample pole. I'll make... You are fishing pro in no time. Click on the bait selection box. Pick your bait. And then click on one of the, the thingies. Wait for the bobber to jump and then click. Nice. Old items. Piece of junk. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I don't I don't think there is a, a cleaning up the lake daily in this one. And a fish. Okay. Let me talk this to you. Thanks for teaching me to fish. I get a basic fishing pole and 60 XP. The most places. And I'm able to buy quantities of bait. Is there? Oh, yep. Okay. Shift does work. Uh, valuable bait picks up... fish Has a chance of fishing up gold worth items. And cheap fish bait has a chance of fishing up uh, energy based items. Here, take a fishing pole with it. You'll be able to fish most ponds you find out in the world, assuming you can afford the bait. Thank you. Jump out of here. Back to our map. Head back up. And continue whacking around at this area. And we found the final puzzle piece. Show me my edge pieces. figure out where all these pieces go. And with that one, we open up uh, the stump over here. I think that goes up to the, the house. 
Now 30% done. Let's jump over here and see our quests. Hello, excited lady. Hi there, you're new around here, aren't you? Did you come on that crash ship? Well, I got a deal for you. A house. Truly brand new and cheap too. The old owner is up and walked away. Now, I gotta sell the thing. I'll think about it. The deal won't last forever. Just a hundred gold. That's it. A hundred gold and you can have a place to store all the things you collect. I can't tell you... I can tell you you're planning on collecting a quite a few. How do you know? You have to decide to do it. Come talk to me. I'll be right here. Yes, I will buy it. I would like to buy it. Thank you. And I get experience from that. That disappears. Are you gonna... Don't go up. That's my house. Why are you going there now? Lady. Hey, you're a bushwhacker, aren't you? Maybe you can open this chest. Maybe I can. Open it up and see what's inside. To open a chest, just click on it. Open golden chest. Lucky wooden coin. Oh, it's a trinket. Increases uh, ch uh, gold odd rating by uh, 20. Hey, that's a trinket. Trinkets can be used to increase your power, but only one. The ones you have equipped have any effect. Let me show you how to equip a trinket. I kind of already explained this. Click here. Click on the trinket. See, now I have odds of winning gold by 17%. The more trinkets, you can buy more trinkets from the shopkeeper, find them in chests, or just get them from completing quests. Don't forget to unlock more trinket slots as you level up. And now that I'm level 5, I can buy a new trinket slot, but I don't need it right now, so we can wait. Let's see, other wooden sword holder over here. Hi there, I'm your local conserv conservation officer. Need any help with anything? We sure got a lot of those new generation of trees. We got to make sure there is a new generation of trees to replace the ones cut and down by logging. Can you find me saplings in the nearby bushes? Okay, another new feature of this zone of this game of Bushwhackers 2 is uh, obstacle courses or obstacles. This log blocks your path. Make Better get some friends to help you move it. This allows you to invite friends, but if you don't have enough friends after two days, uh, if you don't have enough friends, don't worry. You can use the fill the spot, and you get a free person every 20 hours to help you. So if you don't have friends on the game, you just have to wait a little longer. But we'll have that go for now. Let's head up to the house, because I got a new item I can put in it now. Hello. Oh. Ripped catalog. A well used idea. Furniture. Catalog. Any pages are torn out and missing. And a potted plant. Here, hey, you made it. Take this. It's a catalog of items you can buy for your house and yards. It's all ripped up. Well, it's gotten a lot of use. Is it still usable? Yep, once you find an item in the bush, you can buy a duplicate using the catalog. Anyway, I gotta go buy. Oh. You're not leaving, lady. Almost forgot. Ooh, flower plant. A little housewarming gift to get started. You can place the in your house by clicking the build mode in the bottom left and then clicking inventory. Now you're gonna leave? Can I? Oh, I can't. Okay. Let's head inside. And you can you can buy expansions to the property by spending gold but right now this is all we have so let's set that down that this allows us to rotate it this allows us to put it back in our inventory and this sells it from the in the uh, things, but 
Let's put that there. We'll put a nice little plant by the door. And we'll paste the balloon out by the door. Oh god, it's moving. Why is the balloon moving by- Oh my god, there's a balloon in my house. I don't trust you. You're going- You're going back in the thing. Okay. Now that we have one area in our, our teleportarium, our quick travel, which is our house, we can now use the return feature to return back to where we came. So if I ever want to get to my house in any quick fashion, I just click on that and click to visit my ranch. But we got another puzzle here to complete, so let's get on that. Okay, come on. Give me a monster. Or a critter. Why aren't you running? You should run towards the bushes. Not... Oh, and I messed up. And I've now achieved Apprentice Magic User. Use 100 mana on bushes and monsters. But we've picked up, we're out of energy right now, but we've picked up some uh, puzzle pieces, so let's <laughs> attempt to put those into place somewhere. And that is all we can do for now, because I don't think I have enough Ooh. I don't think I have enough. Let's go ahead to the gem trader. And I locked your achievement to trade a gem. What do I need? I need... 10... 10 aquamarines and 5 crittens. not have enough. Okay, so unfortunately that will have to wait for now. But I will be back a little later to uh, spend some more energy when it gets back. So I will see you then. And we are back once again. Got a handful of energy. Let's see if we can find a couple more. Ooh, lovely. Let's see if we can find a couple more puzzle pieces. I'm sorry, Cayman Islands, I don't know you. You're probably a spammer. Win four mana in a row <laughs> from one item. And another level up. There we go. Oh wow, they're actually giving me a mount items before I even have a mount. Large carbos. Feed your Ooh, hold on. Feed your current mount to greatly increase your mount's odd of gaining the max power bonus on its next level up, which it would say, I believe. On its next time it levels up. Okay, let's continue. Give me your loot! I'm okay with that. Collecting the loot. Another nice thing, wooden stool. And we finished the puzzle. Everything's coming up, Millhouse. <laughs> these all into place.
Untitled is puzzled. Solved five puzzles. And we're done with this area. Okay, uh... Character. We can turn... We can change our, our uh, title. We also picked up a new item. Customizable item. So, build mode, inventory, place. There we go, we got a small <laughs> domicile right now. And back we go. Oh no. <laughs> I must wait. I do not have any bushwhacker friends right now. There, yep, there's nothing <laughs> I can do. Well, while we're waiting, we can uh, grind for some customizable items. And also do the quest. Come on. Come on, give me a monster. Any monster? Anywhere? Nope. And that one would have gave me gold. Come on, you be just as lucky. Huh? Okay. Apples are good. Gain a hundred energy from fruit. Another achievement unlocked. <laughs> Apprentice item finder. Find three customizable items. Ripped skull cape. Another one down. Let's see what that looks like. Cape. Skull cape. There's a nice little twirl. So nice. Let's continue. Probably find all the uh, saplings too. And a big old nothing. Just love it when that happens. Three more saplings. Give me something good. I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Bunch of agates. And we're one sapling short. Okay, let's see. What do we need? Need three crittens. Or five crittens and ten. Ten of these. Still short. So, fortunately, that's all my energy for now. I probably won't have time to do another recording. So, that's all we can do. I will see you guys tomorrow, and I look forward to starting this adventure and seeing where it goes. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.